Hi everybody, this is Snyder B Books. Welcome to Rated R Thursday. This week's Rated R Thursday review is going to feature a contemporary romance novel called Split by J.B. Salisbury. Split was published in 2016. It has 408 pages and it has over four star ratings on both Amazon and Goodreads. Split features a heroine named Cheyenne who has recently been fired from her newscasting job and has to return to her hometown with her tail between her legs. She's one of those people that couldn't wait to get out of her hometown and was pretty proud of herself for doing so. So the fact that she has to return is pretty much a huge bash to her pride. Her family, of course, is glad to have her back, but her mother passed away from ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, quite a while ago, and Cheyenne is still harboring the pain from all of that, and it has a lot to do with why she didn't want to return. She goes to work for her father's construction company, and soon meets the hero of the novel, Lucas. Now, Lucas is also new to the town. He keeps to himself. Nobody really knows anything about him. And what we find out is that Lucas very much likes it that way. He lives in a family house of Cheyenne's family, kind of like a lake house or a summer house. And at first that makes Cheyenne very angry because that was her mother's dream house and there's a stranger living in it. So those are the circumstances that she kind of meets Lucas under, being angry that he's living there. So the underlying story for our hero is that he suffered major trauma as a child. And as even the back of the book blurb will tell you, anytime he's upset or feeling threatened, he splits. Um, he has blackouts and what happens during his blackouts, he can't explain. He wakes up in strange places and he doesn't remember things. And I don't feel like it's too much of a spoiler because it's kind of obvious given the title of the book and given that little piece of information, Lucas has multiple personality disorder. Now Cheyenne and Lucas are very attracted to one another and given her background as an investigative reporter or a newscaster. She's very much inquisitive and pushy and wants to know what's going on with him. It doesn't take long for her behavior to bring out Lucas's alternate personality, Gage. Now Gage is very much the protector. He was created out of the trauma that Lucas experienced at the hands of a woman, his mother. So threatening women or overpowering women immediately bring Gage to the surface and he's not a nice guy. Upon learning the truth, Cheyenne's main concern is to help Lucas get over his affliction and maybe find a way that they can be together in spite of this very angry, defensive, and homicidal <laughs> side to Lucas. My overall impressions of this book is that it is very good. There is palpable suspense and mystery throughout having an understanding of dissociative disorder or multiple personality disorder sort of helps, you know, you know exactly how dangerous um, and how harmful to individuals that type of mental health disorder can be. So right away after reading the back of the book, I knew, you know, what the premise was and I knew that I would enjoy it um, because I like characters that are flawed, especially to an extent that Lucas is. Um, there's something about broken human beings that I find inherently beautiful. This book reminded me a lot of Beauty and the Beast, a very dark, <laughs> twisted version of Beauty and the Beast. But the trope, if there is one, is 
a woman tries to soothe the savage beast inside of her man. And that's quite literally what goes on through the whole book. I read it very quickly because I did find it entertaining and hard to put down. I, I think my fiance and I had to go somewhere right while I was in the middle of reading this book. And I remember going and w wanting to be home so that I could know <laughs> what happened in this book. Another thing that I found very well crafted for the novel is the character voices. Um, J.B. Salisbury has written this book in first person all the way throughout, but it's first person that shifts between three different narrators. So you have Cheyenne, Lucas, and then our other personality, Gage, and each one narrates very differently. And it really helps the reader empathize with each character even gauge. That said, the thing that I didn't care for much about in this book um, is probably a product of character believability. I didn't care for the heroine very much. She kind of rubbed me the wrong way immediately when she appeared with this huge chip on her shoulder about not wanting to go back to her hometown and and the shame you know, and having isolated herself from her family for so long and being embarrassed basically to have to go back there. I, I wasn't a big fan of that part of her personality. And, you know, she, she proved to be a different type of person, but I think that I just carried that first impression with me throughout the whole book. My sympathies entirely were with Lucas throughout the whole story. The other thing that I struggled with a little bit as well in this book is reconciling the characters feelings for each other, Cheyenne and Lucas against the horrible behavior of Gage and the treatment of Cheyenne by Gage. And Gage does some really awful things to our heroine, including threatening her life in a very serious way. So I don't know, could the, could the heroine still love Lucas while another guy still wearing his face does horrible things to him? Possibly. I mean, obviously it wasn't distracting enough that I didn't like the book. I liked the book very much and I do recommend this book. But it was something that I think a lot of readers will struggle with because you hear a lot today about, you know, abusive relationships that pretend to be romantic relationships. And you have to keep an open mind throughout this book for a lot of different reasons. Another thing worth noting about Split is that even though it's billed as a contemporary romance, it's not heavy on the sex. So our characters very much go through some get to know you times and some pretty dramatic and awful times. The steamy doesn't come until the last third of the book. And even then it's not by far the most graphic thing I've read. Some people will find that disappointing. Some people will find that refreshing. I found it refreshing even though I do like the steam. Um, it was still interesting to me that this contemporary romance was not built around the sex. If it's not built around sex, then why is it on a Rated R Thursday? I know that's what you were thinking. This book is featured in Rated R Thursday because it has extremely mature themes. So here's your warning. If you are in any way upset or sensitive to child abuse, violence towards women, um, if, you, if, you, if you cannot read about those things, in an objective way, then you have to skip this book. And if you are not 18, please do not read this book. This book has some of the most shocking trauma 
I mean, it's told in the past. I mean, these are things that happened to our hero in the past, but it's definitely stuff that I've never encountered in a book before. That's how horrible this character's past was and how tragic. And I found it shocking and grotesque. That said, I can read those things in a fiction novel without being deeply affected uh, in a negative way. However, if you are the type of person who cannot, then please don't even put yourself in that situation. The sex isn't bad. Um, I don't remember really awful graphic language either. So the R rating is simply to do with theme. Basically, my final thoughts are if you don't mind a dark psychological element to your romance novels, then by all means, give Split a chance because it truly was a good book with a unique concept and I'm very glad that I found it and was attracted to it and read it. If you think you would like to read Split, please click on the link below to purchase the ebook, paperback, or audiobook. And if you've already read Split, please give me your thoughts about the book down in the comment section below. Keep in mind, the comment section of this video may contain spoilers, so if you want to keep this book a mystery, read the comments at your own risk. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Depending on the books that I finish, I post reviews on Movie Mondays, Rated R Thursdays, Free Book Fridays, and more. Thank you for watching and reading, and I will see you all very soon.